Well, how's it going, everyone? It's, it's Friday. It's the end of the work week for some, but not for Ethan and I. Uh, we're back on Barney. Uh, I went to take the truck today up to Paducah, Kentucky to go do a field measurement. And the front end was all over the place, pulling to the right. And go back to the shop, talk to the guys about it. They said they noticed something yesterday, but they kind of didn't tell nobody. So I got to find out. So on the way back, I uh, went to hit the brakes on this thing and it kind of did a death wobble a little bit. So it's here at the house now. Ethan's already started tearing apart. So we got a laundry list of things to do on this thing. Stuff that we've been needing to do for a little bit, but we ain't had time. So since it's going to be down at my house for the weekend, uh, we're going to go ahead and take care of everything. So what we found out the death wobble was uh, between the lower ball joint and our tie rod end on the passenger side. Also, the brake calipers were hanging up in the front. Uh, it's going to need some tie rod end links. So we're going to go ahead and replace the bottom, replace all of that. Uh, shocks front and rear. So, wasn't planning on doing this stuff this weekend, but it kind of happened and we need this truck back in the servers by Monday. So, no rest for the wicked, I guess. I gotta go get the parts. And uh, we'll get started on her and trying to get her all done. So Ethan's got most of the assembly done on the front end. Gives us a good start for in the morning. And now he's picking up our tools. So it gives us a head start. And we just got back from our local AutoZone. We got our new parts to put back on tomorrow. So we're ready to go on that. I know a lot of you are probably saying the comments, Dural ass is junk. Well, I've been using them for years, never had an issue with them. And if I did have an issue, I had no problem exchanging it. Um, sometimes I do like to go to Rock Auto to get my stuff, but certain things I like to get locally just in case there is a problem. But other than that, we're gonna clean up and call it a night. Get up in the morning, get started, and we'll see you then. Well, good morning, everybody. Just having two cups of coffee. Dog's barking in the background. We call him Gravy. So we're getting ready to get started on this again. Ethan's still getting motivated, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace these lower uh, ball joints. Usually I'll sit there and just buy the whole lower control arm and be done with it instead of dealing with the ball joint but I'm trying to save a little bit of money here. Ball joints are like $59, a whole lower A arm is like 240. And um, so we're just gonna replace the ball joints. So let me get everything set up. And the lowers off I had to run back to the parts stores the ones I got were not the right ones so I had to exchange them out for some other ones so now we're back and it's the one thing I like using my local store versus online if I already is online and they came in and they were wrong then I gotta ship those back reorder so like I said certain things are cool to get online Certain things, I'd just rather go to the local parts store, get them. If there's a problem, I can run right back over there and take care of it. Got that one in. Doesn't need to put the clip and the gr grease fitting on it. And that one will be done, done. But we're going to come over here. 
and get this one in. So hopefully it's not going to fight me. The other one went in pretty good. So let's see how it goes. There we go. All right, for now, I'm just gonna snug it down. Once the tires step back on and it's sitting back on the suspension and everything, I'll go ahead and finish tightening them up. All right, we're back. All right, now all this is done, that is done. Now right, let's get this all back in. All right, got this mounted back in place. She's good to go. Now I need to get the old tie rod in off and put the new one on. And then go ahead and get the new wheel hub assembly on. And once you do that, we can probably get the brake assembly on. And then we're going to remove or move the jack stand over a little bit so I can get to the shock and get that on. Now usually what I do, if I'm doing the end, the inner tie rod and outer tie rod, I'll measure everything out. This one here, I barely broke it loose. So now I'm gonna get it back on. And we should be pretty close to where it was at before. But we'll still go ahead and get the front end realigned on it. But for now, we'll be pretty close with her. So that's about right there. Get it in the hole. And she'll be ready to go. She's ready. Warm today. But a lot of this stuff was overdue, like the shocks. And um, we noticed after the brakes and rotors got put on it, they never changed the calipers out the front. And they had a little pull to the right. And every time I, we took it back to him, have him re-bleed the brakes because they were a little spongy. And I told him about it. And the guy that test drove it said he didn't feel anything. But the rest of us did. So basically, it was primarily the right-hand side caliber that was hanging up. And as you can see, these were brand new pads. This one's got some bad fracturing in it. This one's got bad fracturing in it. Um, basically, they weren't releasing. And when Ethan took 
cavalry loose yesterday noticed that one of the cylinders was kicked a little bit. So now these have to be done again. But these trucks get a lot of miles on them per week. And uh, I was looking at down at the odometer yesterday and realized now it's got a little over 190,000 miles on it. So we've almost put 50,000 miles on this truck since he's had it. So hopefully now we'll get the new components in she can live a little longer. Yeah, because at the end of the day, with the business that we do, or anybody who's in business have trucks, the trucks make them their money. If the truck's down, they're not making money. So that's why I'm working on it this weekend. And so she's backed up ready for Monday morning. So I'll get all this tightened down and we'll start on the other side. Well, it's another morning here at the shop. But I just want to sit there and say, Basically, we got this side done. So all things left to do on this, get the new shock mounted, get the wheel back on. I've started on this side, putting it back together. So I gotta finish tightening some things down, get the new brake caliber on, and bleed the brakes. Just got the other brake caliber on, hose hooked up, and Ethan came out just in time. We can bleed the brakes. Not easy with two people. That's right. So we're going to get those bled, and then we're going to reposition the jacks underneath the front of the truck and get the shocks on. And I think someone has been in this before because it doesn't look like the original bolts. So we'll let you know. All right, guys, we got it all back together. Just did a test, test drive on it. Drove good, brakes good, doesn't pull anymore. But we ended up having to put a master cylinder on it. Um, when we started to bleed the brakes, we noticed we weren't getting a lot of pressure out. And the brakes were spongy to begin with. So we went ahead and replaced that. Stops good. And now she's here back at work to do what she does. But now, guys, y'all have a good one, a safe one. And we'll see you down the road.